ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another spectate. I am not playing today. Although, wait a sec. The AFK droppers. Oh, shoot. This guy's already down here. Don't you kill the AFKers. Get out of here. You're never going to kill me. You can't kill me. Only I can kill me. All right, Moist, am I going to be spectating you today? How are you feeling today, Moist? You ready to game? Are you ready to have millions of people watch you? There's some cash over here you can have. Not good enough. Not worthy of being spectated by the likes of me. Get him out of here. Let the game begin. And of course, as I'm recording this, the day that we are doing this, they just nerfed the Ram 9. Sure enough, look at what this guy's got. Actually, this is the Ram 7. A lot of people, though, their preference is the HRM. Don't worry, that was nerfed too. Hold on. Lands on top of him. Jerky hail. Jerking it. Well done. Some good hip fire spraying and praying, and this man's prayers were answered today, folks. Jerky's got a 12.69% rounded, of course. Chance of actually winning this game based off of that performance of that kill. Maximum 12.69. 12 oh, eats a stun. Hard holding the angle, though. Another stun comes up. He's holding his angle perfectly because he's watching the top of the ladder. Okay, he's actually looking pretty good. Jerky. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let's see. Players will no longer experience a delay after throwing equipment or swapping to the soul Ren. Night Vision Gulag's been disabled. Oh, dude, I bet that's what's been causing the problems the of in. all the Relocating lighting the being zone. screwed up in the game. Laser attachments have been removed and replaced in the Gulag loadout as well. I didn't even notice when we were in the Gulag if there was still laser, but I, I gotta say, I kind of hated having all the laser weapons in the Gulag. Because then whenever you come back, you're stuck using a laser weapon that's given your position away. Oh, here we go. Here's the aim we're looking for. Look at him shoot, man. Wow, I think he might be aimbotting, guys. Welcome to another episode of Hector other player is pushing up. He is running the Ram 7. This is a uh, floor looter. It's not the easiest to control. But look, he's playing it smart. He knows when somebody goes up, that's when he kills them. He holds the angles. Jerky sitting in the corner here, jerking it. Uh, this is going to be a boring-ass gameplay. Let's go, man. You got a spectator. You got a spectator. You got people watching, man. I need to see some cooking. Oh, here's a sniper. Bust him in the head, please. I want to watch a sniping gameplay. Don't miss your shots! Oh my god. You gotta hit these headies, boys. You got this, man. This guy is so unaware, he didn't even realize where he's getting shot from, bro. Wait, maybe? Okay. So we're in a bot lobby. And he's... he's dead. Hi, <laughs> right, thank you. Thank you! Thank goodness, dude! Let's see what we got here. M4 F10 S0. Number 8781484. Everybody knows this guy. He's cracked out of his mind. Three kills on board. He's got a mosquito going up in the air. You know what? I died to a mosquito one shot yesterday. I have I still I was thinking about it last night when it Quiet! Why are these airstrikes so loud? Call of Duty just doesn't care. They just don't even care anymore, man. I I had I had trouble going to sleep last night because I was thinking about how I got one shot by this mosquito. I haven't seen too many people running this after the nerf. Now, this is more of a 150 shot. Even if he hits the heady here, which that was not, you'll see a double hit marker if he hits it. Sniper on the roof there. Missed it. Ooh, that looked good. But even if he hits the headshot, he's not going to get the kill from this range. So it's not super ideal. You're going to see the XRK come alive more at the end game. As you see, he's rotating zone. Definitely needs to get on the rotation. LTV just hopped out back there. Ooh, right above. Good slide into the smoke. Gets inside, but where is he going? Nobody knows. What the heck? He's a bush. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my. I was about to say, the people that use that skin seem to all be sweats. And he was, like, halfway there. 
he was, he was a quarter of the way there. Let's be real. Damir! Wait a second. This guy was in one of our competitions just the other day in our Mountaineer <laughs> Open in our custom games. He was popping off. We might be in for a game here, folks. The cat with the AMR. He's going to know he's got a lot of spectators here. Three spectators on board. Let's see how it goes. As he's going for the redeploy, he's got to work his way to zone. Pre-aiming it with the snipe. Wow, wow, wow. He sees him. He sees him there. Bop, right in the head. Caught him. That guy was shooting the other direction. He heard the drop in there. Here's the footsteps. Get some distance. Shots on the roof there. Maybe it was down low. He's just relatively low to the position of where the shooter was from. Don't know what he was shooting at. Wait a second. Why is there a what? Why is there a truck in the water? There he is. Shield! Cannot hit it while he's zo zooming away. Bro, why is there a truck in the water? That says somebody's in it. Okay, redeploying. I think he's going to go for height. Mortar's on it already. Shot's going away. What? I saw him looking up here. He was checking to see if it was clear. The God Spot! I have never seen anybody up here. Oh, wait a second. This guy's seen it, though. Cracked! Counter Sniper coming out from a cat. Checks the other roofs. Makes sure it's clear. Now this guy knows where he is. You know he's going to be looking for a shot. Or get the kill. Boom! Headshot! Out of the game, sucker! Oh. Fell off. Ratioed. You would think I would know all the sniping spots at this point. Look at this. Oh, he's got an angle on it. Oh, my gosh. He needs to wait for the clean opener, though. No need to rush it. Another parachuter comes in. Doesn't want to give his position away. Here it is. Shots up top. Position's blown. No shot on there. Might be getting a little antsy on the shot. Wants some blood. Trying to jump off. This guy is absolutely lost. This guy is lost in the sauce right now. Demir needs to just put him out of his misery, honestly. Lining it up. Lining it up. He doesn't know. Oh, he almost had a window there. Take your time. Line it up. Line. No, what, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? He comes up with a zip! And another player off the stairs! Knocked out! Cracks him! Sniper overwatch. Now this guy's going to know where he was shooting from because he actually got the hit marker. The first player dead on the left didn't know because the sniper shot didn't connect so he couldn't trace back the hit marker where he felt that coming up his ass. Boom! That shot! Knocked his ass out! Does he fly for the finish? He does not, though, and I think probably the right call. That is very far to traverse to which the player on ground may have been able to stand up and shoot him out. Especially if he doesn't have Mountaineer. If he had Mountaineer, he might be able to cut the shoot, hit him in air while he's and landing on him. Dream work. Control of the roof. That's probably the power spot on this map off this next zone close. Oh, okay. Here's a parachute. Pops down. He doesn't have his redeploy back to height here. He's going very low. Now, there is a stash right up over here. We'll see if he decides to you grab this one. It's on route for his rotation if he stays waterside. Six kills on board. Ten spectators here. What? There it is. He's, he knows the he knows the spot. You know he's watching the streams. He's seen the intel. God, these airstrikes are so loud. We don't need this. This is why we can't hear footsteps half the time. Oh, early cut shoot. Going for height. Cracks him on route. Here's another parachute coming in. Cooked it. Gas is closing in. Ooh. Oh, baby! Right in his eye socket! Woo! Woo! That's what we like to see. Uh, the problem with the AMR is the slow sprint to fire. Oh, here it is. It's game over. It's game over. It's game over. Instant, instantly we know that. Instantly we know that. What is this guy? What is this guy doing? He's cooking. He's cooking Buzz Snipes. <laughs> you got Snipes in your name, and you're not even going to use a sniper. To say I'm disappointed is an understatement. He's got a shield, thermites rocking, and stuns in pocket. Let's see what he's got. Top 10 situation. He's got control of the exterior building. Potentially wants to even take the inside, but we haven't even seen zone pull yet. 
that's really where we're going to start seeing who comes down as the winner of this game. Buzz has got control of this side of the zone, though. He's got to be feeling good. Six players left. Spots one ahead. Now the question is, does he engage and blows load now, or does he Fucking wait until ice. later? He does have an actual yeah, AR, on, although his aim is atrocious. A little damage on. BP works Enemy from marked. range. He did blow a little bit there. And, yeah, the chances of getting that kill with the BP from this range are... Uh, very mark. small, especially if Four your aim remaining. is that bad. Would be good to keep the extra stuff in your back. Now that you could do that in this game, Ride Shield is actually even better because you can carry Moving six stuns with you. Here. And as soon as you throw two of them, you don't, need to, you don't even need to open your bag to pull more of them out. It auto-fills your inventory slots with the equipment in your bag. That's what I'm saying about emptying your boxes and doing it early as it's down to the top three. Here we go. What he really wants is the 1v1 situation. Anytime I'm in a top three with the shielder, I always work with the other player to try and kill the shielder off first. Because either way, we don't want to 1v1 a shield. That's how you lose 9 out of 10 times. You will lose against the shielder. If they know what they're doing, as Mortar comes in, this guy, that is a good pre-mortar. Forces him on the inside. He's got shots with that AR. Gets the kill 1v1. And he's got the shield. He's got double stuns. He's got the trophy down. He's got the double thermite. It's his game to win. And he has his own pull. Do not choke this buzz! Throw something. The trophy system eats it. The stun goes out early. Stuns him behind the wall. Wall bang a little bit. Starts to throw the double fire out, so he has nowhere to rotate. Damage on. He's keeping pressure. He's got the damage lead, forcing the plates off, but he's not following up the damage lead. That guy's got a nasty head glitch right now. He cannot jump up on this wall and try and shoot blind. He needs to find a head glitch of his own, but he's opening up rotation opportunity for him. You can see he's got a great heady on that. Trying to land some early Enemy damage mark. off of it. Still has two stuns to utilize. Wants to wait until he's in the open. The trophy system's countering. This is insane for him. The stun goes out and locks him. He's got to utilize the opportunity. Plates are off. He's got to get one more stun out. No, and he's thermited. The other player was waiting. Stun comes out. Crack. No. Ah! He didn't have his self-res. So the other player, even though he died, still won because the shielder died to the zone. Waited till the last second to reveal that he had one more thermite up his ass. And the stun. Whew. Absolutely choked the game. This is why riot shielders are... You know, if you guys enjoyed, give it a like. Double check your subscribe to the page and we'll see you in some more videos.